guys, it's Lisa back with another video for you for Lisa Wise Designs. And today we're continuing in our series to make the triple pocket folios and inserts. So today is part three. This is where we left off. We made our folio sleeves and got them decorated. So now we're going to be working on our piece ease. If you would like to make this project exactly the way I'm making mine, you can pick up a physical kit and have it mailed to your house. The link is in the description box below to go to my Etsy shop. Or if you want to use your own supplies and use up your stash, you can also just pick up the tutorial only. So here is our four piece ease because we are making two folios. So we have two uh, going in one direction that opens to the right and just like so. And we've got two that opens to the left. So if you're following along with me on your cutting guide, I'm at the bottom of page 10 and we're gonna be working on photo insert left. So I'm gonna put the two right ones away and one of the left ones away, those out of the way. And so I grabbed one that opens just like this to the left. So the short side is opening here to the left. Okay, so let's go over to page 11. We're gonna work on the inside first. Just gonna grab me a bone folder. Kind of help that stay open for me. So in your cutting guide, I've got all the dimensions you need to cut everything out and place down on these um, photo uh, inserts. So what I had is you can either use index cards, which is what I do here, and I stamp mine, place photo here, or you can use leftover cardstock that you have in your stash to hold the place. Uh, for the photo, or you can just wait and put your photos in later. And today I've got some photos I'm gonna be putting in mine, but this is what we're gonna be working on. So I wanted to have two samples for you, one that just has the index card, so you can kind of visualize where your photos go, and then one that actually has some photos in there to give you a, a better, I guess, perspective of what that will look like. So this is the one we're gonna be working on today. Like I said, we're at the top now of page 11. And let's start laying this one out. You're gonna need a horizontal four by six picture. You're gonna need a vertical picture, this four by six, just like so. And then we're gonna need some of our cutter parts. So I'm gonna be using a couple of heritage photos that was in my um, mother's stuff. And I'll talk a little bit about these as we go along. So let's see, we also need a four by six cut apart and I chose this one that says family is timeless and remember we cut these uh, apart on the very first video as we were getting things ready <clears throat> and this is gonna go here then we need some of those two by two cut aparts there's a whole sheet of pattern paper that's two by twos so I just chose two of those and again you can see pictures of this on page 11 and then I also got a little bitty piece of red scrap. This is a quarter of an inch by four. You can cut this off paper or you can use the binding, the binding, the branding strip. I knew I was gonna do that. So, no, let's do this here. Put this here to help take up some of that extra space. Lay this out here. And I thought about maybe using this one because it's in the heritage photos to maybe cover this one up. I do like that flower, so I don't think I'm going to do that. And to help take up some of the space on this side, we're gonna be using some washi, just like this. So see how it kind of helps take up some of that space there? So let's go ahead and put this down. This is a photo of my mother. Yeah, which that's mother, and that's her twin sister, Marie. And this is her sister, which is my Aunt Barbara. And this is Uncle Charles. I just saw him today. And Uncle Hardy. So my mother is a twin sister. I always thought that was really neat. They are fraternal and as different as night and day, which I also think is hilarious. So I'm just centering this between the score lines, leaving a little more space than normal because of the way this is cut. And that's why I have on the other side that quarter of an inch strip to help take up some of that space. So you can do that or you don't have to. So I'm just giving a little bit more space toward the top and bottom. 
this just over just a bit. But by doing that, my glue is already dry. <laughs> a little better. Okay. And as I was cutting this, I can see it looks pretty straight on the mat, but this is crooked, but we are going to fix that. I'm going to play a trick on the eye by using some of our washi. Uh -oh, put this down here. And I did take the time uh, to ink each one of these edges with Distress Ink. This is what I'm using. I'm using, throughout this book, I'm using uh, Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. That is the color. Got distracted a second from my phone. I'm telling you, Bath and Body sends out the most coupons and the most alerts wanting you to buy. <laughs> I've got to figure out how to turn that off on my phone. I think I've gotten like seven of those this weekend. It's like, yeah, I like your stuff, but come on. You always make me look at my phone like, ooh, someone's texting me. Someone loves me. <laughs> nope, you just want me to spend money. Anybody else feel that way? I've had to take some apps off my phone or go into the app and turn off um, the notifications. Because really, Pizza Hut and Domino's, I do not need to know every Friday and Saturday that you have got a deal going on. Believe me. <laughs> okay, well, I'll come back and put some stickers down here. But since we're gluing, let's go ahead and go to the back. So this is what this is going to look like. So then you would take one of your four by four cut aparts, and I'm using the one that has the camera on it. And then you would take this piece of paper, which I'd have to look at my notes on that one, I cut it a little bit less than two inches. I said one and seven eighths. It's just a hair less than two inches by four. And then this is perfect now to put a horizontal photo here. And I think I have to make a decision which ones. I think I can only really use one more, right? This one that's on the front. This is my, uh, my mom and her twin again, a little older. So there's the five of them. And then here's one, I think I'm gonna use this other one, just because I think this photo is so cool because how many people have a picture in the childhood that has their father in it and their mother? So we grew up in a very small town and I'm just assuming that my daddy was there to visit one of the, you know, one of my mother's brothers because I know they were all friends growing up and he happens to be in this family picture, which is kind of cool. I have to ask my mom about that, but I know that's that's not a family member either, this person. So I wonder what was going on. But that's neat. That is so neat in the same picture to have my mom and my dad. And they've been married 55 years, is that right? Almost 55. Okay, put this down here. So I wanted to try to give you some ideas of how to use all these different cut apart sizes because sometimes it can be you know a little daunting like what am I supposed to be doing with this and how can I use these teeny tiny you know two by twos and can you actually use two by two photos will they even look right so I think we have a uh, it's easier now for us to cut our pictures up into smaller sizes and crop them because we can reprint them so easily. That didn't used to be the case. And photos were so precious like this. But now, digital, I don't think it's that way. All right, so go ahead and go here. And I'm going to put this photo here. Put this out of the way. This is a photo of my grandmother, my mother's mother and her sister, yep, Lizzie Brown, wearing their Easter hats. I can't make out the date that she put on here, but I never knew my grandmother to be any type of jokester at all. She was always so serious to me, so to see a picture of her <laughs> with an Easter basket on her head is quite hilarious, I must say. That is priceless. So that's one of the reasons I chose this. <laughs> So I am going to be giving this to my mother on Mother's Day. So I'm going to be doing 
as you can tell, one of these little photo inserts with some heritage photos, and then I'm gonna be doing uh, one with modern photos, photos of her and her family now, and those will go in one folio. And then the second one, I'm gonna do a couple of family trips that we've taken in the last few years. So there is hope that one day we will travel again. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so I am in the middle of page 11 and I'm gonna be working on these little tags and finishing up the top of this. So originally I had to cut this at, uh, let me see what this is, four and a quarter by two and an eighth. And it is gonna be very short because my picture's not quite four by six, but I want this to line up here. So I'm just gonna have some empty space there, but I can easily cover that up. So I'm gonna go ahead with my plan. Keep what's in your cutting guide. Just do that here. So I'll also mention to you, most if not all of these papers that I'm showing you, I have cut from the so-called scraps of what we had left over when we were um, decorating the fronts and the backs of the folio sleeve. So always look in those scrap pieces first before you cut a new piece of paper. So let's start doing some zhuzhing up of this. Let's, <laughs> let's start using some of these embellishments. So you will have a tag if you've got your kit. If not, this tag is one and three eighths wide by two and three quarters tall. And then I cut a piece of this blue paper that's one and three eighths wide by two and an eighth. And I'm just gonna glue it on the bottom and add some color to it. And I don't always point out why I pick certain papers. Um, but there is a rhyme and reason. By this time, see, I have already spent a whole weekend designing and hashing out, oh, this paper should go here and that one should go there. And so I don't have to do that on camera. But see, this blue, which is not really picking up blue, is it? There it is in the camera. It's pulling from this blue and this butterfly. See, there's butterflies here. And so on the back, the reason I pulled this piece of paper is it's got some blue flowers that will pull from this blue, right? It didn't have, it kind of um, helps everything flow that way. All right, so let's do a little bit of layering here. So for the first time for this project, let's pull out those stickers. This is the sticker sheet that came with the paper pack. This is an extra one that we're using. Instead of ephemera, we're using this extra sticker sheet. I love this one. It's called Banner Cardstock Stickers by that same Simple Vintage Ancestry by Simple Stories. And we're gonna kind of use this as um, ephemera. We're gonna be cutting it apart and using it. It just happens to be in sticker form. So to get started, I'm gonna use this one that's on this first sticker sheet that has the bird in the one, two, three. I'm just gonna take it off. Okay. I'm gonna ink the edges. All right, and I will show you on this first one, if you want it to swing free, like this, oh my God, no it does. If you want it to swing free, you would use uh, powder to take that sticky off. But I think on this one, I'm just gonna let it stick down. So I'm gonna stick it straight down, lining up the holes and put it kind of at a wonky angle and kind of give this a little layered look, so to speak, there. So then we'll go in to our fun stuff here and look through our ribbons. I'm gonna use this one that's kind of like this aqua bluish color, and I'll help pull these blue, that blue out that we're using here. I fold it in half, and I'm gonna push that fold from the front through that hole then I'm gonna be able to take those two ends and pull it through the loop, and pull it tight, all right? And then you can decide how you want to do your ends, if you want them to look like a ribbon tail or if you want them to be at an angle. This one I'll do ribbon tail and I kind of tell you how I do mine. I like to take the ends, fold it in half, okay, and hold that. Take my scissors and start from the bottom edge and cut up toward my finger, but of course, not on my finger. And then when you open it, you should have uh, a ribbon tail there. Okay. 
And so this is what that's gonna look like. It's gonna go right here, but I wanna take up some of this room here. So last time I had a sticker, so let's go back and look through those stickers. This is the one I used, Family History. You can see it has that butterfly and it brings out the red because we're gonna bring some red in here. I do like that. Family Tree, this is us, Photos and Memories, My Memories. I think I'm still gonna go with the Family History one because these are not really my memories. I was not there then. I don't know how old my grandmother was here if my mom was there. And then this is not on there yet, so I'm gonna do this right at the bottom and help take up some of that space. But if you got a, a full four by six photo, you probably want to do it on the edge of the white here. But I'm gonna come underneath it since I'm trying to take up some of that space. All right, put that down there. Burnish it really good. And then I'll see if this is gonna take up the rest of it if I need something else. So I may need something on the other side to take up some of that space. Um, let's see if I want to use something here. <laughs> I wonder if I can just use a heart and see if that will show up. It's really small. is here. If I put it right on the edge. I only have a tiny space open. I wonder if I could put something small there. Let me go with this heart and see what happens. Put that on the edge of my table. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. All right, just like this. Right on the edge of that Family Histories one. Hold that for a few seconds. Right. Then coming over here on the side, I wonder if I added this heart, what would that look like? Just help pull some of that empty space. Cute, and it helps bring out some of that red. Okay, I like it. That looks good. We don't have to put a whole lot of stuff on there. Um, to make it so cute. So now we want to pull in some of this reddish rust color here. So that's why I used these photo corners in that same color here. So here they are. I'm gonna go over here on my photo. I'm gonna we'll cover up one of the names, but that's okay. We know who it is. And you can actually get packs of photo corners at the, uh, the craft stores, they come in white and you can change the color of them with sprays and ink pads. And I want to do some of that. I think that will be really fun. I've done some off camera for some projects, but that will be fun. Okay, so that helps bring out some of that red from here to here and from here to here. Now, let's do a little work on the inside. All right, so as you can see here, I put a little heart here. We might do that, we may not. I did a little cluster here on top of some washi tape. So let's grab our washi, and I'm using this one that's at the top here, this greenish color. Just gonna pull a couple inches off, tear it. Then I'm going to try and tear it down the middle. It doesn't have to be exact, but be nice if it had a little beefiness on both sides, which that's very difficult to do. I've got a whole lot more on the bottom than I do on the top. So I'm gonna kind of pull some of this off. Then I'm, my little latte has come to say hello. I'm gonna put some here and some up here. But since this is a scrapbook and I want it to stay a long time, I'm gonna add some glue to the back so that it's not gonna peel up. And you're not gonna be able to see that through there. Just like that. Saturdays and Sundays are like this because I'm at home and so she's on alert, she's not sleeping. And then usually our neighbors have visitors. They're, they have grandkids that come to visit them and they like to play outside and Latte thinks they're just too close to her yard. <laughs> That is cute. Okay, so let's 
put a couple more stickers on here. Let's see. I liked this real big heart that was right in here. So I'm gonna put that right on top of that washi tape. And then we can add another one on top of that if we want to. I think I'm gonna leave it this time the same, but then I think I wanna put something right here to help pull this in. So something with this blue, we've got a lot of that red. Let's try, or maybe even this flower. No, don't like that. No, 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 don't like it. It's too much. What's up, Latte? Okay, and I see you trying to uh, to make sure we're all good. I think I do want to use this blue. Oh, this one says Our Heritage. I don't think I used that. Oh, I like it. Okay. Because this picture over here is my mother. It looks like she's a teenager. And she is with her grandmother, which would make my great-grandmother. I think that's really cool. up here where it doesn't look like it's floating like that still needs something here hmm yeah maybe I do like this though and then maybe which heart did I use on that one let's see oh this one here on the second sheet this heart here It's really bad white, um, really stark white sides on some of those. Probably should have put this down first. Yeah, that looks good. That's what I did. I just kind of stuck that heart on the end there. Okay, I like that. So I don't want you to think that the only thing you can do with these is use heritage photos, but I did want to show you what black and white photos would look like here. And on this one, I use a really long sticker here to help with this spacing. Oh, but to, to finish my thoughts, sorry, but you can do that. You can use it for this. And I'm gonna show you, like I said, modern pictures on here too. This is what we used originally. Let's pull this big sticker off and see if it's gonna cover up anything here. It's really big with my photos. Let's see. I like this We Are Family one. See, I'm changing course, so I hope I don't use this one later on. If I do, I'll change course again. Okay, I'm gonna have to give her a treat. Oh yeah, this is really cute. It's just short. And this will go here, and then we'll need something to finish that out. So we could use one of these colors here, maybe. Or we could leave it alone. Oh, but I like this, uh, I like these. These are, um, look like, uh, tickets. I'm going to say tags. I know that one, right? I can put that there on the edge. Love, so cool. All right, there's number one. Basically done, what do you think? Are you loving this? This is so much fun. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I'm loving it. All right, that's the first one. So where are we here? All right, let's see where we are in our instructions. So now we're at the top of page 12. So I'm gonna take a little break for a second. It won't be one for you and go put her up and give her a treat and be right back. Okay, now we're gonna be working on a photo insert with the right side. So let me grab one of those. So I'm grabbing one with the short end is opening to the right. You can see that there. We are at the top of page 12. And let me grab this one. This is the one we're gonna be working on. This out of the way. So this is what this looks like. 
four by four photo here, a four by four cut apart. Then it's got a landscape and a vertical photo and then a two by two here. And then we kind of did this differently. This is a three by four here. And then the way this works out, these are actually three and a quarter inches, but all this is written down for you. So this is what we're gonna be working on next. I'll flop these around here. So let's see, let me see, let me see. Get all my stuff out here, do this. All right, so I really like this. I said heritage on it. Even though my photos now are gonna be shifting to modern day, I still really loved that one. And then I have a four by four photo. I am gonna use the photo crops in one of these to show you how I would use that. But if you had a four by six photo and you pulled this four by four photo crop out, you would just lay this down on top of a four by six photo and decide exactly where you would want to cut it. You can kind of see that plastic. And then you'd be able to draw a line or just make a mark and then you'd be able to cut right across it. It gives you um, a different perspective on how to crop your photos, which is what I did with this one. It made it much easier. So, but we will be doing that uh, before this video is over, but I wanted to show you exactly how to do that, but I just didn't want to take a whole lot of time. Make this video two hours long. Although I will say some of my favorite YouTubers, I love it when they have an hour video and I can just zone out, look at my phone, wash my dishes, which, you know, there's not many because I don't cook very much. <laughs> you get the point, take a bath, whatever, and just listen to them talk about crafting and just kind of glance up and see what they're doing. I just love, I love those. All right, so I left a little more space at the top then I did the middle and bottom because I know I'm gonna put some washi tape here. So I, that's why I did that. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Here. So we'll go ahead and work on the right side. So we need a vertical four by six. Put it here, you could put it top or bottom. I'm gonna stick with the bottom. And the way I like to do these is if I have a four by six cut apart that has words on it. I don't like to put another one right next to it, you know, that has words on it. I like to kind of put my photos this way. That's kind of why I have it laid out like this and not with this down here, if that makes sense. And that's how I got this photo too, We're using those photo crops, this two by two of mama and daddy. We don't travel that often, but we were very lucky to go on a very nice trip um, two years ago, and I have scrapbooked that trip. It was so, so, so cool to be able to share that with Mama and Daddy, and my sister and brother-in-law. I have a couple of these, I think. This is Us is what I put here, since it's not really a travel theme. I could do another strip to help take up some of the space, or I could simply leave it like this. Yeah, this one has like a heart there and just bring this down just a little bit so there's not as much space top and bottom. Or I could throw some washi tape on there. This is fun for me to do a project like this that's not so overly complicated, not overly thought, don't have to overly think about. And you can get it done, like I said, in an afternoon or at least a weekend worth of work to give as a gift or have for yourself what's not you know, a month of Sundays type work. Well, I guess that treat didn't last too long. <laughs> there we go. So, and I think some of you do too. I think you like to go back and forth between those extra long, bigger projects and some smaller ones. They don't all have to be massive projects or masterpieces as my mother would say. <laughs> love that we're gonna come back and put some stickers on there so then on this side we'll have a four by six photo now this one is shorter just because of how it printed out and I'll probably need to put something there but then I have photographs and memory so that is perfect this goes here just like that I 
I'm sure a lot of you have trips or special moments on trips that you would like just to put a few of those down on you know, one spot to be able to look at because I know we took hundreds and hundreds of photos and I have a large album with lots of those photos on there. See how I pulled that up? <laughs> but this is fun too to just kind of have an overview with just a few pictures in it of some of my favorite photos or just some funny photos of the trip. So cute. So I am gonna use some more of these uh, photo corners here. That's gonna help take up some of this room. But I'm gonna put it down a little lower so that it looks like it's taking up more space here. Okay. I'm gonna put one here. Yeah, you can see where I get my sense of humor. Look at my daddy in this photo. He's definitely not a serious <laughs> face. When he is on it, he is hilarious. He was in rare form. I'm not gonna put one here because I don't want to cover up my brother-in-law Scott's face there. And I think it's gonna look fine. And we could use a sticker here, even though it's going the opposite way. Or we could cut a piece of paper. I still think I want something right there. This is cute, it says my memories. I like that. And then, oh, this looks kind of old worldy, these clocks like this. So I'm gonna kind of layer this one here. this I need a four inch strip and then about three quarters of an inch is that right no about three eighths let's see what's in my pile here something that's got some red in it it's too short Pictures four inches or should be. So that should be good. Yeah, that looks good. Right there. Okay. So this is exactly what I would do when I'm personalizing a kit or something. Because this is what happens sometimes. Something's made for a four by six photo, and I know a lot of those photo places don't. Uh, print them at four by six or if you've got a photo that you're trying to crop something out of or you're resizing that's what happens sometimes so don't be afraid to add strips or bigger stickers or something to take up that room and make it look like that is what you meant to do that's cute I like it that's cute so while we're here, let's go ahead and add a sticker or something here to kind of join these two together. I would use words, but since there's words right here that says, this is us, I don't really want to do that. I'm gonna find something that is more decorative. And here's a red one that'll help bring out some of this red. So I'm gonna use this red heart here at the bottom. There we go. That kind of helps join that together and bring out some of the colors from the other side. So now you can kind of see the look here between just saying this is where your photos would go to in real life what it would look like. I hope that helps. I hope you see that goes, yeah, I can do that. That's gonna look good in my photos. All right, we'll close it and work on the back. So here's another way to use a three by four cards. 
So I put one here and then I took a four by six photo and actually reduced it down and trimmed it to three by four because I wanted that one to be like right here. And then I kind of filled in what was left instead of doing a three by four here and here because you could see it will not, um, if there, this, it's not exactly a square, would not work out. These are three and a quarters, I do believe. Let's see where we are. Yeah, these are three inch wide, about four and a quarter tall. So I am in the middle of page 12. So this is how this would lay out. And then you can come and put something right in the center to help pull all that together. Or you can do like I did on this one and put one long something there. Like I say, I tried to do some of these taking into account all of these different size cut apart sheets because some paper companies, when they're putting this together, uh, putting a collection together, use a lot of these and this happens to be one. And some will only use four by six, maybe some three by fours. And I know Prima, they don't normally, I guess, print the three by fours in the 12 by 12, but they always have those uh, cards that you can buy, right? That's four by six or three by four. So anyway, maybe if you learn a couple of these tricks, when you have that type of pattern paper or cards, you'll be able to use these techniques again. Okay. So there's um, obviously room for more photos here than what I am using because all of these little squares you could use for more photos, right? So I'm trying to do it keep a balance between using photos and pictures. So, like I say, especially at least two photos would look really cute here. So let's check this out and see what might look good. This, never forget, might be cute, but we may have to layer it because it's a little smallish. Let's keep this, we'll put this on the edge of my desk. And then, let's see, something like this. Never forget Heritage, Our Story, Family Tree, or we could cover that up. Ooh, yeah, 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 that's what I wanna do. So I have a lot of blue here, I have a lot of this. What color do I wanna try to pull out? That's kind of what I would look here. Might wanna pull this color out, like the writing, so we'll try that first. Get the edge with ink, gonna help that stand out on the page. Then I wanna cover up where it says this is us and put never forget. This was a trip of a lifetime for us. Uh, none of my family had ever been overseas, except for me, and I think I'd only had one trip overseas. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda line that up. That's cute. To kinda pull all of those together. Awesome, so cute. Okay, we're done with the second one. I don't know, I wanted to do some, no, oh, take that back. <laughs> I wanna do a little more um, washi here. So I chose this washi to kind of help bring out these colors. So tear off a piece, you can go all the way across, like I did here, and then layer it. This says we are family but I don't want to cover this piece up because it says the Vatican, even though you might not be able to see it on camera. You can see it in real life, and I don't want that covered up in case someone comes behind us and wants to know where we were, or in case in my old age, I don't remember where we were, which could really happen. So put that here to add some color. All right, really, I don't have any glue behind it, but I'm really gonna burnish it down. Then I'm gonna layer it with one sticker. Uh, I used We Are Family last time, which came from here, which would still be cool, because that's a picture of me, Mama, and Daddy. That's just a family reunion, that's neat. Generations of love, family is forever. Oh, there's photographs and memories. Oh, and there's one that says treasured memories. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Treasured memories, that's perfect.
Alright, so I'm just going to layer this. This is coming off of it. So, oh, where you can see the difference. This is the one where it goes all the way across as we are family. Then we have this one that's just a small piece of treasured memories. Love that. Cool, cool beans. I am having so much fun. <laughs> I hope you are. All right, we're 40 minutes in. I'm going to keep going. I think that these will go quickly or, you know, I may be kidding myself. I'm not sure, but we're gonna go ahead and keep working. We're gonna do the second um, photo insert left. So one of these that opens to the left. I'm on the bottom of page 12. And let me grab the next one. Okay. So this is the one we're going to be working on. There's some of my photos. And this is the one I've gotten ready for us to use. Flip this around. All right, so starting at the bottom of page 12, we need a vertical four by six photo. And this is a trip that just my mother and I took, and I think it's been four years ago now. And it, it was a spectacular trip. So, one I will never forget. At the bottom of page 12, it tells you to cut bl this blue flower paper four and a quarter by two and an eighth tall. And I just kind of measured that. I want it to go all the way across the top here. And I also had, this is what I had left over of where I cut some of this off of the branding strip. And so I'm gonna kind of use a little bit of that later on here, right there. I think I can go ahead, yeah, and glue this down. So we went to Iceland over spring break, which is just kind of funny, it had nothing to do with spring break, but we just kind of chose because everybody else, it seems, was going south in warm weather. This is one of the places my mother's always wanted to go. And I really wanted to go when she started talking about it because I've always wanted to see the Northern Lights or the, or the Aurora Borealis, if you call it that. Like this, and we were not disappointed. The, the first time, the first night we went out, we saw some tiny streaks that were okay. All right, all right. I see what people are talking about. That's kind of neat. Looks like green smoke up in the sky. But then we decided to go out another time, and it was amazing. It was the most amazing. Thing, and I'll keep talking about it as we go through. Okay, we're gonna come back and do the front part of this. So we're gonna open this up here. And let's go ahead and start on this right side. We need a horizontal four by six and then a four by six cut apart. And then the one I have says we are family. And let's see. I have this one of the little Viking ship looking statue looking out on the mountain range. Okay, you're gonna bring this down a little bit from the top because I am gonna put some washi there and a little bit from the bottom because I'm gonna put washi on this side. So more toward the center here. Um, back to my story there. When we got off the tour bus, because they take you outside the city so that you have more darkness, which makes sense, so that you have a better chance to see them away from the pollution of the city lights. Um, you know it's going to be a good experience when the tour guide who does this at least six days a week and has done it for years is telling you, get off, get off the bus now, get out here. I've never seen anything like this. So my mother had prayed before we went to see God's beauty and glory and she was not disappointed to say the least. She stood out there. And that darkness and the below freezing temperatures as long as she could before she started being in pain and had to go to the bus it was pretty awesome. The only bad thing about it is you really can't take great photos of it unless you have a really nice camera. But I do have some, some photos. So on this open flap, I'm going to do a vertical 4x6 photo. This was us on the Black Sand Beach another day there. And... It might have been the coldest that I've ever been in my life. No joke. You look at our faces, how red they are. But it 
was a good day, but it was a cold day. <laughs> it was very cold. So I took um, some of those two by two cut aparts and I actually cut two of them out because I wanted uh, the ones I wanted. I didn't want the ones that came side by side. So I just personalized that. Then I have this a quarter of an inch strip by four to take up the room, but you can see here again, this photo did not turn out to be a four by six when I printed it. So you could take up some more space like using a bigger uh, strip. So this one, if you use a full four by six, that would work. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just going to get me a little bit bigger strip here. I need like three quarters of an inch. Let me see what kind of paper I've got. We have that green, but there's something right next to it. This is not the right orientation. Oh, it's not thick enough either. That's not the right orientation. That will do. So is it already four inches? Nope. Oops. Four inches. And about three quarters of an inch. that with that vintage photo, the edges here, and yeah, that's better. That takes up a lot more space. I can put this up here. Yeah, do that. So if you ever get a chance to go, it is cool. I didn't know anything about ice until I started researching. It's just not something that people in my circle talk about. Ooh, I really want to go there. Most places they talk about, you know, it's tropical. <laughs> And um, I would say it's kind of like going out in the western part of the United States, um, specifically like Yellowstones. It has a lot of volcanic, um, I want to say eruptions, but that's not what I'm trying to say. Um, anyway, it escapes my mind, but you know what I'm saying. So it has lots of geysers and volcanic, what is it, reactions? I'm not sure what that is. It would be cool to have seen one, but we saw lots of cool geysers, lots of um, evidence of eruptions from centuries before up to modern times. It's a really neat place. And of course, there's always the Blue Lagoon, right? This one here. All right, so. That means, we'll put this to the side here. Um, I'm flipping this way, yeah, to the back. I'm going to use this beautiful photo here, this landscape photo there. And this heart that was cut out of that this is actually my sad photo I took of the Northern Lights because all I had was a regular DS, DSL camera and then an iPhone. And that's the best that I could do. And then three by four cut apart. And then to take up some space, that three quarters of an inch area like that. Isn't that cool? But it just looks much different here uh, seeing it with pictures versus no pictures. Right. So, yes. so like I said before, there are some kits still available with this paper at my Etsy shop. Not a ton of them. Just a handful. And if you want to use your own supplies, you can always do that and just pick up the tutorial only and just follow along with these videos. Put this here to the side. There we go. 
This has been so fun for me, something different than a mini album or a regular folio. So, definitely going to have to put something up there to take up some of that space, but that shouldn't be too difficult to find. And I tried to write the tutorial where you could have all of these uh, dimensions already. So on a lot of this, you can just follow along the tutorial if you wanted to do that, if you wanted to take it to a crop or something and you didn't have access to your videos. All right, so let's take a look here and see. I don't want to say ancestry on this one. This memories would be cute right here. So I'm gonna pull this one, this is memories. Then if I do that, I need something longer. Uh, maybe do this again. Something like this. Can you help pull that down in there or on this side? Yeah, probably look better here. But if I do that, I don't want red on red. Uh, there's a blue one, a green one, and a red one. So there's lots of blue here. The green's gonna look kind of dark. Let me try the blue. here yeah I like how that takes up some of that space and then helps kind of bridge the gap between the top and the bottom I like that so you can kind of take a look at how different that looks here so cool and then on this one I use another one to help bridge the gap here if I if you wanted to if I could find something really small I would put it there look I already have a heart Something like a long strip. Mm, let's see. I may not. I may leave that one here for now. But it did say Generations of Love there. So I don't want to put that one on this one. So let's finish up with the front here. You're going to need another one of those small tags that's in your kit. And if you don't have a kit, those are, let me see, one and three eighths by two and three quarters. And we're at the bottom of page 12. I don't think I've told you <laughs> where we were here. Yeah, so there's a, at the top of page 13, there is a blown up version of what I'm doing right here. So like I said before, I had this strip of red. See, it's not quite long enough to go all the way across, but that's okay, because I'm gonna put a sticker in the center. So I'm just gonna cut this, uh-oh. <laughs> My non-stick scissors are sticky and kind of cut it in half and put one half here and one half on the other side and then there's this sticker or this element here is gonna cover up in the middle. So this is another trick that I like to use. Not necessarily to stretch my paper, but when I don't have enough paper to do that. And that happens quite a bit, but there's a way around it. All right, so then here is um, my tag and I'm gonna grab about eight inches of that rust color ribbon and so let's start layering I use this really big sticker that says a story of us I use one of those looks like a ticket that said photos and then I used a red heart here and then you can see the tag sticking out in the back there so I don't know if the story of us will work with the photos I'm trying to pull off here, but this is really cool. I think I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna have to get some more ink in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and put the ribbon in so that I know what I'm dealing with here. I fold it in half again, push that fold through the front, pull it out, and then take those ends Push it through the loop, the loop and pull it tight. Come on, there we go. Thank you. And this time I think I'm just gonna take it and cut long uh, angles into them. Like that, and then fray them a little bit. 
That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. And that's what they look like now. See it there. And I want this to kind of lay right here when I'm done. I don't want it to come off the black, but kind of be at the top. So see, this is really long right there. And you can see it on this one too. So I'm gonna trim the bottom. I don't need that much length for what I'm doing. Okay, because I want this to kind of sit here when I'm done. So see, it's, it's not coming off there. So that's perfect. And I'm gonna layer this on here just like so, All right? And then I'm going to grab one of these tickets. This one says photos, that's what I used last time. I'm going to kind of wiggle it in between those two so that I can read the word photos and still see that it's a ticket, but it's layered. And then I'm gonna put something here, probably heart, since that seems to be my MO, I'm going to use this heart here. Right. See if this is what the back looks like. And I'm going to kind of layer that here at the bottom. And I like that. That's cute for what I'm trying to pull off here. And then as I'm putting this down, I'm just going to make sure I'm covering up this gap like so. All right, put some glue on the tag piece that doesn't have any since the stickers do. And kind of wiggle this around till I get it the way I want it. Cute. I think that is adorable. Love. Okay, so let's take a look on the inside here and see what else we want to embellish. So I love this look of using the washi and then putting stickers over it or just using stickers. I can figure out how to get it off here. People out Sunday driving. I'm gonna put, if I remember this time, put a strip at the top. I'm gonna bring in some of these other colors that's on this layout here. Say like this and here. And then if you wanna put one here, I knew it was so difficult to find the end. There we go. There. Okay, and so here I put a butterfly and then a little heart here. And let's see what I'm gonna use this time. There's a big flower I keep wanting to use, but I know it does not go. <laughs> I want to use the butterfly this time. I like this one that says us. I don't think I used that in the last one. Let's see how this looks somewhere. Well, look, this one is us. This might look really cute right there. Okay. Cute. Like that. And then I can put something right here. Probably gonna go back to my hearts. There. And then I'm not gonna use this one because it says a family reunion, so I know I'm not gonna use this anywhere else. But what I think I will do is just trim out the word family and use that. It's teeny tiny now, but that, oh, it already says family there. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put it up here then and just layer another layer on there. Cute, and then just leave that one alone. All right. Okay, so here is the original one. Here's the one we just did. I'm gonna get it in camera here. Here's the front right. and the back. Awesome. Okay, I know this video is now about an hour long. We only have one more to do. So when we come back, 
uh, tomorrow what we'll do is we'll do the last little um, photo folio that we had and then we'll get started on oh yeah the decorative paper clips those are fun so I will see you back here same time tomorrow I hope you're enjoying the series because I'm really enjoying making these videos see you guys here tomorrow thanks bye